Sponge, said Mr. Bobbin. I'd keep him out of your new house if I were you, said the furniture man. He's a proper mischief maker, that cat is. Oh, he looks a nice puss to me. Look, we've made friends already. Hmm, said Mr. Dabble. Help, said Mr. Dabble. Get him away from me. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's a lion, chuckled Mr. Bobby. I'll leave off, Dad. <laughs> He's only teasing. Come on, let's get Mr. Bobby's furniture out. All right, then. Ow, said Mr. Dabble. But Mr. Bobby, take it from me. When that gets around, anything can happen. Oh, I'm sure he'll behave, said Mr. Bobby. I'll go and get him a saucer of milk. And I think we could all do with a nice cup of tea. That'll be very agreeable, thought the two devils. What? said Mr. Dabble. Oh dear. Mr. Dabble, said the policeman, we can't have this mess, you know. It's blocking the road up. The sponge has been up to his tricks again. I see. I shall have to make a note of this in my notebook. He's always making notes in his notebook, said Gary. Come on, let's get on with it, said Harry. He's ready, said Mr. Bobbin. Oh dear me, he said. Did I forget to tell you that I wanted the furniture inside? Mm -hmm. 